A legendary Hollywood career, a secret love life, and no known heir, Rock Hudson's estate was worth $27 million at the time of his death. So who inherited all those millions when he died? Keep watching to find out. Rock Hudson was one of the quintessential leading men in Hollywood throughout the 1950s and 60s. But before we know who inherited the millions the Oscar nominee made over his long career as an actor, it's important to go back to the very beginning. Born Roy Harold Shearer Jr. on November 17, 1925 in Winnetka, Illinois, he joined the Navy at age 19 and served in the Philippines. After his discharge in 1946, he decided to move to Hollywood and try his hand at acting. Within a year, he was discovered by talent scout Henry Wilson, who gave him the stage name Rock Hudson, with Rock inspired by The Rock of Gibraltar and Hudson by The Hudson River. A handsome, though untrained actor with plenty of charisma, he signed with Warner Brothers and made his debut in the 1948 film Fighter Squadron. Universal Pictures soon took notice, bought out his contract, and sent Hudson to acting lessons. In 1954, he was cast in his first lead role in the Douglas Sirk melodrama Magnificent Obsession, the film that made Hudson a star. Two years later, he starred opposite Elizabeth Taylor and James Dean in the commercial and critical hit Giant, earning his first and only Oscar nomination. Another Cirque melodrama, Written on the Wind, followed, as well as the role of Lieutenant Frederick Henry in the 1957 film adaptation of Ernest Hemingway's novel A Farewell to Arms. In 1959, Rock Hudson was cast in Pillow Talk, the first of three romantic comedies that he would star in with actress Doris Day. Hudson played a freewheeling ladies' man who shares a telephone party line with the no-nonsense career woman played by Day. Critics and audiences alike were delighted by Hudson's comic timing and chemistry with Day, and a new chapter in his acting career opened up. I don't use sex to land an account. When do you use it? Hudson was married to aspiring actress Phyllis Gates, who worked as a secretary to talent scout Henry Wilson. Gates was unaware that Wilson set up the marriage to hide the fact that Hudson was gay. Hudson's homosexuality remained an open secret for much of his career, but due to society's rampant homophobia at the time, he stayed closeted. Why can't you get married? It's the sort of thing a man doesn't discuss with a nice woman. He secretly dated actor Lee Garlington from 1962 until 1965. Garlington, then acting as a film extra, had heard rumors that Hudson was gay and stationed himself outside Hudson's Universal Lot Cottage to try and meet him. Eventually, a friend set them up, and the two began a relationship. In a later interview with People, Garlington offered this remembrance of the time he spent with Hudson. I'd come over after work, spend the night, and leave the next morning. I'd sneak out at 6 a.m. in my Chevy Nova and coast down the street without turning on the engine so the neighbors wouldn't hear. The two men would attend film premieres together, but each would bring a female date as well. Rock Hudson died of AIDS-related complications in 1985 at the age of 59. Hudson was the first major celebrity to publicly disclose that he was living with the disease, bringing a new public awareness to the worldwide epidemic that was still considered mysterious and terrifying by many. Hudson had worked with writer Sarah Davidson on the biography Rock Hudson, His Story. Davidson wrote that before his death, Hudson's friend and secretary, Mark Miller, had asked Hudson who in his life he had truly loved, and Hudson had mentioned Lee Garlington and Phyllis Gates. Still, Hudson's obituary in the New York Times ended with the line, there are no known immediate survivors. Hudson's will stipulated that Mark Miller and Miller's partner, actor George Nader, would inherit the interest from Hudson's entire $27 million estate. In 2002, Variety spoke with Miller after Nader died of a heart attack. Miller noted that he and Nader had been a couple for 55 years, and he had been Hudson's secretary for 13 years. According to Nader's obituary in The Independent, tabloids began outing closeted gay Hollywood actors in the 1950s. In Nader's obituary, The Independent also noted, It has frequently been alleged that Nader's own studio sacrificed him by making a deal to keep their far bigger star, Rock Hudson, free from such notoriety. Miller died in 2015. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about Hollywood stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.